Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? All right, welcome to our afternoon uh, piano hour. I'm Ranger Karen. I'm with the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park. And on behalf of the National Park Service and the New Orleans Jazz Museum, I'd love to welcome you to this beautiful performance space. Um, the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park is the only national park in the country that's dedicated to a single performing art, and that is the unique American art form of jazz music that was born right here in New Orleans. We do have a visitor center down the street at uh, 419 Decatur Street, where we have exhibits about the different cultures uh, that have come together in New Orleans, and we've got a gift shop, and we do a lot of performances down there as well. So I hope that you'll be able to make your way at some point down Decatur and visit us there. Um, but right now, I want to uh, turn things over to our musician for the afternoon. I hope you'll give a big welcome to Jonathan Hines. Thank you. 
Thank you. How's everyone doing? Good, good. Are y'all from New Orleans or visiting or visiting? All right, all right. Well, I'm new here. You know, I just moved here from Arizona uh, a few months ago, so I guess you could say I, I still feel like I'm visiting. Um, that, that first tune, I don't, I don't know, maybe some of y'all recognized it. That was a tune by the great jazz pianist and composer Thelonious Monk, who's someone I, I've, I've really been checking out quite a bit recently. You know, he, he's, he's got such an inventive way of playing solo piano that is so different than um, other jazz pianists and, and composers of that era. So anyways, that was Ask Me Now by Thelonious Monk. I'd like to con continue along here with one of, one of his, one of his um, contemporaries. This is a Bud Powell tune, another one of my favorite jazz pianists. I think some of his tunes might get overlooked. Over, m maybe they're overshadowed by his contemporaries like Charlie Parker and, and, and Dizzy Gillespie, but uh, I think he wrote great tunes, and, and I'd like to, to share this one. This, this is called Time Waits by Bud Powell.
Thank you. That was Time Waits by Bob Powell. I love that song. You know, there's there's this melody that kind of repeats itself throughout that tune. Um, and, and I think, you know, if you if you check out the recording of that, um, every time he plays it, he does it, he does it a little differently. And, and um, I don't know, I, I just really like that song. So I'm going to continue along here. Um, with an old jazz standard. This is an American songbook tune that I really love. I think it has a great melody. This is um, Stella by Starlight.
Thank you. That was Stella by Starlight. Do we have any George Gershwin fans in the room? Yeah, okay. Hey, Autumn. Um, I'd love to do this tune, Embraceable You. This, this is one of my favorite songs. Um, you know, George, George Gershwin is one of the most prolific American jazz composers. Um, and, and this one always just stuck out to me as one of my favorites. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Thank you.
<laughs> Thank you. That was that was two tunes that I like to put together as a medley. That was that was um, on a clear day, and and body and soul. Uh, I'm going to continue along here um, wi with an old um, classic, um, a jazz standard. This is all the things you are. Thank you. I think there's time for one more. 
I'd like to do another monk tune, Thelonious Monk. I, I started with that monk tune, Ask Me Now. And I love the way he plays solo bi piano, so, so yeah, I, I'm going to continue along here um, with another tune by Thelonious Monk. This is, this is Round Midnight. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for being here.